Welcome to Reread. We're on book three of the Junior J. Knight series, and this is the first story arc that's going to be wrapped up here. It's called Promises. Basically, <laughs> Tahiri made a promise six months ago when she left Tatooine that she would come back and decide whether she wanted to be a Jedi <coughs> or a Tusken Raider. Now, um, she doesn't want to go. Luke makes her go. Anakin wants to go with her. Luke says, hmm, that's a little dangerous. I don't want you to go alone, so I'll see in Tyone. So Tyone goes with him. Um, Tahiri finds out what happened to her parents, and I remembered this, but uh, the Tusken Raider who treated her like a father, he was injured during something in the desert. And, the, and, the, and her mom and dad, Tahiri's mom and dad, took him in and was kind to him and nursed him back to health months later. And he was teaching the mom or the dad, or both of them, how to uh, defend themselves with gaffy sticks. Well, when the Tusken Raiders were coming around, they saw you know, the, them sparring with gaffy sticks, and they thought they were attacking the Tusken Raider, so his tribe killed her parents. Well, Sylvan, I think is his name, the Tusken Raider, he felt so bad, he wanted to adopt four-year-old, now she's back to being four now, she wasn't three, like she was in the last book, she's four again, uh, four-year-old Tahiri, as one of their own. He had to fight the tribe over this, because the tribe didn't want an outsider in there, and the tribe still doesn't like her. There's someone called Vex, or Vexa, or whatever, who hates Tahiri, because she's not one of us. And so, when Tahiri gets to hear the story as her punishment or, you know, payment for hearing the story of her origin, um, and, and Sylvan's afraid that she's going to hate, uh, he, she's going to hate him, but she doesn't. She understands it wasn't his fault. It was all misunderstanding. She's sad about what happened to her parents. But then I started thinking, her parents were strong in the Force, too. It, it said they had the Force in them. Sylvan could see that. And I was thinking, wow, this really unintentionally ties in to the overall continuity because... They could have been Jedi in the Agricorps. You know, both failed Jedi who went to the planet Tatooine to start growing crop or making it a better place, fell in love, and started raising their own moisture farm and had a kid. I mean, honestly, it fits kind of really perfect here. Uh, but anyway, so Tahiri's punishment, or you know, her payment for hearing her origin, she gets dumped in the middle of the Dune Sea with Anakin, and they have to find their way out. They befriend Jawas, make a trade with them. Anakin fixes their sand crawler in order for them to get food and water. Then, of course, they have to fight a credit dragon because they're not that rare on Tatooine, even though uh, t t uh, Tahiri does say they're rare. But they do encounter another credit dragon. I don't can't, I can't remember how many credit dragons we've seen so far in the EU, but this is a lot. This may be the last one anyone ever encounters, too. I don't know if there's, it's, it's ever mentioned again. But anyway, <clears throat> they escape. Now, you're thinking, where was Taon the whole time? Well, they kidnapped the kids in the middle of the night and then dumped them in the Dune Sea. Okay, but why didn't Taon go looking for them? That's the thing. And so a couple of days went by when they finally were able to get, catch back up to the tribe. And Tone's just sitting there, I guess, waiting for Anakin and, and Tahiri to come back. But uh, So they come back just in time where she makes her final decision. Yes, she wants to be a Jedi. They, after this adventure is done, they fly back because Nancy Richardson realized, I have, what, 30 pages to go ahead, and, or 20 or something, to finish off this Golden Globe thing. And so they go and decipher it decide they're strong enough to uh, take, take it on and free those children. Uh, the, there are Sith voices or whatever as they're going up to the globe or telling them <coughs> all these bad things. And one of the things they told Tahiri was they told her they can tell, they can feel that she is a sister of the darkness. That's kind of interesting, right? Because it also kind of fits in continuity if you think about what happened to her uh, after New Jail Order. I, I just kind of like some of this. This is really kind of neat. And then, of course, Legacy of the Force and whatnot. So I, it was totally unintentional, but you could read it that way. Now, I should mention, throughout this whole series, Nancy Richardson built up this um, conflict within Anakin because he carries his grandfather's name. His grandfather's evil. Will he be evil too? I get that as a kid. You don't want to be named after one of the most notorious villains ever in the galaxy at that time. Um, but you know he's struggling with it, and he's getting told by Tahiri in the first book, by Lyric in the second book, <coughs> or Sana, I can't remember who, and then again uh, by Tahiri again that, or the Tuscans maybe, that a name, you know, you carve your own name. You carve your own destiny out of it. So Anakin's kind of overcoming that fear, that struggle with that name. They do eventually free the children. Their spirits lift into the air. When they get back to the temple, Luke's going, Did you, were you successful? Good job. It seems like Master Ikrit has come clean with Luke. And we don't know when this was, maybe when the kids went to Tatooine, because Ikrit's still a secret to Luke in book two. In book three, we don't know. Maybe as he left, did he tell Luke, hey, I want to come clean, I'm a Jedi Master too, and these kids have to do this. I hope you understand. 
That's fine. Why didn't you do it in the last book? Again, I'm being nitpicky. I'm being nitpicky. It's children's books. I'm not going to come down that hard on it. Um, overall, the first story arc is very good. I remember liking it when it first came out. Now, the second story arc is picked up by Rebecca Moesta, and is it that good? Hmm. Find out next time.